tag um, a basket. Baskets become quite complex in, in the grocery world because of uh, many dependencies and if you order this then you might order that. Uh, if you buy uh, lots of uh, uh, water or something like that then you cannot buy 10 or even, even more cradles of, of, of water um, because uh, it gets too heavy, get it delivered. So you have a lot of de dependencies and uh, then you need to feed that back in, in, into the payment systems. So this, there, there are a lot of APIs where we use it. And um, maybe another one is, is also important is the product inf information management system where we store every single item we have into that system and we can retrieve and we can enhance in information in that system um, as it is needed also from a marketing perspective as well as for search perspectives and therefore these APIs make a lot of sense to get access to that very very fast on different devices, different speed. So there's, that this, this is a major part where we use uh, the uh, Commerce Tools platform. We use Commerce Tools uh, with the uh, API which is underlying the microservices. There are some microservices already in uh, Commerce Tools but the uh, basic uh, layer, which is flexible, which is scalable, um, is the uh, Commerce Tools platform. We use since, this since uh, 18, uh, nearly 18 months now. We started uh, with that as the common platform because we are also looking in the future because we, we, we need these really uh, fine canola APIs for our omnichannel features. So therefore it makes a lot of sense to use something like, like, like this. We are, we are trying. Some of them are really usable, like an SAP system. We treat that as a microservice, even if it's not a microservice, but we wrap it that it behaves like a microservice and it's mostly um, and mainly um, treated as an asynchronous uh, system. So we don't rely on those systems. We put stuff in a, in a queue. It's really asynchronous. Sometimes it's nearly synchronous, but it's, from an architectural perspective, it's asynchronous. Each team is responsible for one or two or even more microservices. So they develop these microservices based uh, on, on an API. Um, we have contracts between different teams, so we write microservices with a kind of a contractual behavior and in between the, the teams we have guilds as we call them they take care for the same architecture same coding style same front-end uh, behaviors and all these things that's that's the way uh, teams are now being formed and being staffed with that setup